Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at the Breitling Navitimer Automatic 41. And first I'd like to remind you that we're here at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota, who are an authorized retailer of Breitling and many other premium watch brands. So, um, first I'm going to start off with the case of this watch. Now, it's got a 41 millimeter stainless steel case. And as you can see, it deviates from the classic Navitimer because it does not have a chronograph function. However, it does retain the slide rule and um, really conversion scale function of the normal Breitling Navitimer. And that's very use that's actually a very useful feature if you're trying to do such activities as navigate in an airplane or maybe even cheat on a math test. I do not condone that with the last option, but you could definitely use that. Um, <laughs> use this for that. So um, getting into the movement of this watch, so it's got an automatic movement that's based on the ETA 2824. It's got a power reserve of 38 hours, which is a little bit low considering what I like to see is 48 hours uh, for a watch. I think that that's kind of my minimum um, for a piece. So, however, again, it's automatic, so um, if you're daily wearing this watch, the power reserve won't really be an issue because, again, it'll last definitely overnight, so that's not going to be that big of a problem. But if you have a multi-watch collection, it might become an issue if you don't have a watch winder or have space in your watch winder. Now... Um, moving on to the bracelet of this watch, it has a slightly finer version of the classic uh, Breitling bracelet of this design. Um, it's it's thinner, um, and that's probably just to kind of uh, blend in better with the thinner case on this piece. You could actually wear this watch with a suit. I think it would actually look okay considering the nice beaded bezel. It has a little bit of a dressy flair to it. Uh, it's not really a dedicated sports watch. You could really wear this for anything. So, moving on to the clasp, it has a nice Breitling kind of next generation clasp. It deviates from their pin, or their uh, press metal variety as the finishing is a little bit nicer, but it's still very thick and very robust. So now I'll try this watch on for a wrist shot. And the 41 millimeter size is pretty much uh, perfect for any watch. Um, it would look great on most people's wrist. I have about a 6.5 inch wrist in circumference, which is average, slightly above average, and as you can see, it looks. Um, very nice, very normal, um, and I, I really like it. So going back to that bezel, um, if you guys have never felt a Navitimer bezel, it's just this nice, silky feeling. Uh, I would highly encourage you to go to your Breitling AD to test it out. I, I think that a lot of people will like this watch. I was, a little, I was very skeptical when I saw that they didn't include a chronograph function on some of their new Navitimers, but Really, I think that this watch does have utility, um, even without the chronograph function. I think it looks very nice, and it's slightly more minimalist. It kind of gets those sub-dials off the dial, and I mean, the Navitimer probably has the busiest dial of any watch I've ever seen, and this is a little bit more uh, restrained. So, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. Thank you.